No. <clears throat> What up, Q? I don't know. We about to see. <laughs> you probably right, banger. He was like the nerve, the audacity. Yeah, I'll be a sample based producer now. Yo, what up, what up, what up, though? Oh, what up? That's what's up, bro. I, uh... All right, so what am I doing here? Which suggestion is that? What, what are we talking about? What are we talking about now? Oh, hell yeah, do that. I mean, that's understandable, Sailor Moon. Not everybody likes Studio One, and not everybody is supposed to. Yeah, I don't know what their logic is with the, uh, with the, with the auto chop in there, dude, but they should do it by the, uh, <sighs> by the, by where you have the damn um grid resolution at that that's what makes the most sense to me i don't know what they're talking about though What 
Even for one. 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 Wow, thank you. FL Studio ain't taking no L's, bro. That's like, that's still like the most used DAW in America. I mean, not that America represents the whole world, but they're winning over here. Yo, to be honest, bro, uh, Studio One 2.6 is my favorite doll of all time. That thing is a rock, bro. Like, that shit is always on point. I haven't used FL20. It's probably like just as dope as all the other FLs. Stop being a bitch. There you go. I was about to piss me off. i 
Thank you, sir. I like, I think I like the way it came out. I think the hardest thing for me about making this track was the, was the bass line. I had to do something that I rarely ever do, but I just chalked it up to the, uh, to the, uh, I just chalked it up to, to really <laughs> not knowing what, what the hell I'm doing. Cause bro, I don't ever sample, especially not like this. I do not chop samples. You know what I mean? Like the extent of my sampling is I find a loop and that shit works and I run it and then I'll, you know, reverse it or half time it, or that's how I get my, uh, my stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely a nice feature. But um, yeah, that, I think the hardest thing for me with this track was the bass because I was um, like I did not finish this beat last night and it pissed me off. I just like I just like put it down and, and wound up going to sleep at eight. And woke up to fucking Drake and Blackface this morning. Um, but uh, yeah, the bass line was freaking me out, dude. Because I was like, because I was like, man, this is 145. You know what I'm saying? I should be able to go hammer time with the 808s. And then my, like my, the 808 that I always use wasn't working. And I was just like, why? What's going on, bro? So I was like, you know what? Let me step away from it. I'm not gonna trash it because it's not like it's not like I'm Mr. Sample Master and I and I actually know what I'm doing. Let me let me give it some time, bro. I'm like, you know, I'm not really I'm I'm not really too good at this. And um, you know, I went and I listened to some sample tunes. I listened to the new Pusha T and stuff like that. I was like, oh. Okay, I'm doing too much. You know what I mean? Just if you got if you got a sample like this, um, you know, and you're not and, and you're not filtering it out a lot, you gotta you gotta complement the existing bass line. You can't go playing a new bass line over this over this other bass line that you chopped. You know, even though even though yeah, the 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 808 you know is mad simple and basic, but um, you know, most sample type beats don't have, you know, crazy, you know, 808, 808 bass line. So I was like, you know, let me, let me try that. And it worked and it sounded good, you know, and I just, I just messed with the release of this. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna finish this beat. Let me go ahead and flip on the streams, talk to the, talk to the people them, see if anybody wants to, you know, uh, tell me how, tell me how, um, you know, uh, Drake and Blackface is no big deal. And we should just, and we should just wait for his new song. I just wanted to see if there's anybody I need to block from my channel. So you guys let me know who's getting blocked today. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I would never, I, I would never block any of you guys for your music opinions, bro. You know what I want? You know what I think I want to do? I think I want to do the old school Pharrell on this. Nah, not that. Too fast. This one. Plomp, plomp, right there. Yeah, 
there, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Push T changed his rap style. That's funny. So many people criticize Push T from not changing his rap style. It's bro. It's okay if you were criticizing. We're we're allowed to uh, we're allowed to criticize. Definitely allowed to criticize. I don't know, bro. I've been listening to Pusha T since nineteen ninety fucking nine, bro. When he came out, and he sounds exactly the same, in my opinion. Like same cadence, same voice, same over pronunciation of the R's. Yeah, I was talking to uh, I was talking to my I was talking to my uh, to my homeboy. He throws me uh, he throws me mad alley oops on samples, and I uh, I muff them terribly. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to get better at sampling because I got a I got a nice alley oop thrower, and. Um, what up, Tony? And we was talking about Pusha T, and I was telling him how, um, and I've never heard anybody talk about this. I, I I just think it's because like people don't really pay attention to lyrics, but um, I uh, I believe I believe that clips, and I could back this up, but I believe that clips and Pusha T, um, and Malice, they completely changed the sound of rappers completely changed the sound of rappers um during this time i was a i was an up and coming struggle struggle rapper in the south i did a lot of shows i performed once a week in miami and uh, around like the, the, there was three like like there was three classes that I saw. I saw like I saw like the 90s from the 2000s people and then I saw like the 2000s from the to like to like the 06 7 people and then I seen and, and and then I seen like like the like the 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 class that came in in 2010 and that's and that's when I kind of stopped uh you know stop stop doing that shit. But there was something happened when when put when clips came out and you can go back and listen to the music year by year and this is what it is um before before clips came out if you pronounced an r okay at the end of a word if you pronounced an r you were a cornball nobody nobody um nobody Nobody would give you music a, a chance. You, there was no, you couldn't say, you couldn't say, I'm a killer. Okay, you could not say that. You had to be a killer. There was no, you, it wasn't the ghost face killer. It was the ghost face killer. You know, you, it's, it, nobody, it, 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 nobody was iller than me. No, it was nobody's illa. Like there was a very, um, e e even the way that they spelled the words on the back of the CDs, they spelled it like wrong with A's and A-H's and shit like that. There was no, there was no pronunciation of the R. Pusha T and Malice came through pronouncing the fuck out of their R's. You know what I mean? Like when I heard grinding, I was like, yo, these dudes sound so different. What is it? And you know, when, you know, when you're a rapper, you listen, just like if you're a producer, like, you know, where you, you know, that that's the rat kick in the, and, and, you know, in the spins 808 because your ears tuned to it. So I'm like, yo, these guys are, these guys are pronouncing their R's. It's really weird. So then boom, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, um, 
you know, the, th the thing with Juvenile happens and uh, he leaves cash money. Lil Wayne becomes the front man. 500 Degrees comes out. He starts to get a little clearer. He's going to college. And one of the ca classes that he's taking is diction classes. But at this time, you know what I mean? There's also, you know, Gillies in the writer's camp. You know, they have the they have the Clips connection or whatever. And I think this is why pushing them is always like been been fucking with Wayne like because when um and I don't mean fucking with him in 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 no nice way Kanye but come on man get out of here but when oh uh, but when 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 he stopped rapping with the group so then little Wayne came out Right. And he went from he went from uh he went from I'm wearing diamonds and for Ravi's boom saw baby lost him. I'm back. I come up uh, smelling like dime sucking cognac because that's how he used to rap. And nobody up north liked him. You know, they said they couldn't understand him. Um, then all of a sudden he starts he starts rapping like dear mr shit or dear mr toilet i am the shit life is a bitch but i am a coach bag and he's got this perfect clear diction and during that time you know like 06 07 08 then all of a sudden every every up and coming rapper started over pronouncing their r's and, and and like this super this super clear enunciation that was not present in rap outside of eminem but you expected that from him because he was a white man that didn't rap with a black scent and we appreciated him for that he said motherfucker he didn't say motherfucker you know so in the course of in the course of doing this, the man. Oh, what up, game? In the course of doing this, the man changed the sound of rap. The the the, the I should say the men because they're brothers. But that was like because because you know when, when we started talking about the records and everything, instantly like when you start talking about Drake, you start talking about that fuck shit like oh you know strategy and planning and like no 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 none of that matters none of that matters bro like we're talking about rap like when you talk about impact and we was like you know he was asking me he's like what type of impact did did Pusha did Pusha have so that was kind of like um the the thinking behind behind because because people like to marginalize the uh the rappers who aren't in their direct lexicon of um of music and of thought you know they like to say they like to say oh yeah you know he's washed up he hasn't done anything he never sold any albums but i i think push it is like that one example of somebody who like low-key changed everything and he can't come out and say, you know, because he's Mr. Cool Guy. He's not going to come out and say, like, yo, who got y'all boys pronouncing your R's, you know, because who's that's, you know, that's a that, that's a very nerdy distinction. Uh, but I am a uh, I am a uh, I am a very unapologetic nerd, especially when it comes to hip hop lyrics. So I will. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Could you, do you have you ever know? Did, did you notice like any any of y'all who are a little bit older? Like, have you ever heard anybody that like? Did you did you notice that change, or is that just something that that uh, that people um? Nah, definitely didn't come. Nah, nah, bro. When, when, when? No way, Big Craig. God, Nelly. Nelly's another one that people marginalize, bro. Like, Nelly was... N N Dude, Nelly was the man, bro. You know what the funny thing about Nelly is, and and this is like like when I talk when I talk to people about about hip hop music and and and, and what's going on. So for example, Nelly, I, I I always thought Nelly was super talented, and they and and and, and they and they, you know and they talk about um. You know, like he was a super commercial artist, and I used to have because I used to hang out with like a lot of underground rappers, and their favorite shit was Sean Price. So I could do so I would do Sean Price's voice, and I would sing the hook from Country Grammar. So if you listen to the hook from Country Grammar, right, and you sing it, it sounds like a nursery rhyme. You talk about we going downtown, baby, yo street in a Range Rover street, sweep a cock back. But yo, say that shit in Sean Price's voice. You know what I'm saying? Say those words in Dave East's voice. Say those words in Kendrick's voice. You know, just just change, just change 
change the tone of it and then you see how that changes all of a sudden this gangster we going downtown baby your street in a range rover street sweep a cock back ready to let it go all of a sudden saying shimmy shimmy cocoa puff isn't something to play with like you you actually hear what he's saying you know the art did not come from Nelly, bro. Y'all are y'all are talking about something different. I'm talking about some s someone saying like someone saying like here is the register receipt versus like and you guys are talking about her like that's different. That's different. Like if you listen if you listen to Nelly rap, Nelly was still N Nelly was still saying banga. Okay, he was not saying he was like he 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 was not like Pusha T would not say BK banger, Pusha T would say BK banger. Lil Wayne would say BK banger. N Nelly would say BK banger. this sample where did i put it uh, sample libraries vocal samples where is it well, there you are yeah I just like it, the 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 funny thing about the blackface. Like, I don't think that like Drake is a racist, or I, I I don't even think that he was like like when he did it. I don't think that he was. I'm pretty sure like he was trying to make an artistic expression because the man is an artist. What bugs me, what bugs me is like the reaction to it from his fans. You know what I mean? Like, I I, I like people people was just like was just like and and the reason why the reaction from his fans bothers me is because it just goes to show how far removed um uh like hip hop culture is is getting from things that are important you know what i mean like that shit that shit is not cool bro you got to put somebody on time out for that even if you're a fan of the artist you got to put them on time out for that like yo drake you're in time out dude like i'm gonna just like like you got to hold this L real quick like you in time out but to but to, no 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 it's deep it's deep I'm, it's deep yo banger i'm i'm not marginalizing it let let me finish what bothers me is is that so many people were just ready to say like nah 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 bro no big deal no big deal no big deal you know what I mean because uh, because like the reaction should be is like yo I need an explanation like that's like that's the reaction like I was watching I wanted to watch uh I I wanted to watch everybody's um. I wanted to watch everybody's uh, perspective on it before I, the, b before I commented, you know what I mean, and see what people thought. And I think, and I think like the craziest one, like everybody was on point except for except for DJ Academics, bro. This dude, this dude was on was on there like explaining away, like basically like basically talking about how it was no big deal. And like normally I don't care what like what like a nerd like that says because it's like but it's like yo you have you have this huge base that that parrots everything that you say like he's like he's like uh he's like uh he, he's like a fox news in hip-hop right now a lot of people don't want to give him that credit but he is you know like younger people will go to him for their opinion now if you take now if you take this opportunity right now 
You take this opportunity as, you know, as, 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 as somebody in your position and you use it to apologize for an artist that you're fan, that you're a fan of rather than saying like, look guys, this might not be something that you know of why you shouldn't do this shit. Let me explain to you why you shouldn't do it. Like, bro, the dude didn't even, the dude didn't even know who the hell the character from, um, shit. How did I forget the name of the most deaf movie? bamboozled was you know what i mean it's just like it's it's just like it's just like you can't you can't uh what's called what, what what's an example of cognitive dissonance i know what cognitive dissonance is i don't think this is i don't think this is it it's just like it's it, it's it, it's an example of ignorance see because you know nobody Nobody's taking the time out and ex and and explaining to these kids like why like why it's important because I wanted to watch everybody because I wanted to see if anybody if anybody took the time to explain why it was not okay and nobody took the time to explain why it was not okay not even like not, not even the co-host on, on Everyday Struggle who was who who was pissed about it you know i feel like i i i feel like he was so flustered in trying to get his point across he did he, he did not get his point across you know but it's like Nah, yeah, he that, that uh, dude. I'm not nah, bang it. Don't d do not take me the wrong way, bro. Don't even don't even do that because I'm not saying that like that like that like Drake didn't know what the hell he was doing. You know what I mean? Like that is not what I'm saying. What what I'm saying is is what bothers me the most about it. Nah, and and that's what was crazy. That that's what was crazy, banger. Like like people were using the way that he looked in the other photo to to try to to try to to try to explain uh yeah to to try to say like yo this is the artist thing and and, and but but the thing is is like yo like if like if you're a man is see here's the thing and this is and and and, and this is why this is why like i, I i'll say like i 100 percent say that drake won the meek mill beef you know what i'm saying he handled it with bars you know there's there, there's nothing i could take away from him but <laughs> what it did was <laughs> what it did was yo like like it it it, it it made uh you know it, it it opened the lane for the corny shit you know what i'm saying like it, it, in hip hop it's just like all right this is the, the this is the lane for the corny shit now like you beat like you beat the street dude the the the, the age of the street dominance is over and the thing about it is when you took down that gate that was guarding hip -hop, hip hop you then elevated you then elevated a corny dude to to you know ultimate prominence which sounds good in theory because you know this should all be about our creativity and our artistic integrity and how um you know how much you know um how much great content we could share with the world ideally but what hip-hop like the pillars of hip-hop especially especially lyrically is it's it's a teaching tool for the lessons that we can't get at school you know what i mean that we need to know you know stuff that stuff that is taboo to be talked about in polite conversation that is what that is what something that that, that is a cornerstone of hip-hop um so when you take something uh social justice is about to take over hip-hop as it gets more and more popular <laughs> oh god I mean, why do you have to go over 40? Bro, because it's a, you know what it is, man? It's a ghetto thing, bro. Like, if you talk about, if you talk about, if you talk about my girl in the suburbs, you know what I'm saying? I might, uh, I might join in and be like, yeah, Becky can be a real bitch, <laughs> you know? But, dude, if you talk about, if, if, if you talk about my wife in the hood, you know what I mean? Like you just you just violated my man card. So now your whole man card gets to get violated on my behalf. You know what I mean? Like that's just that's just how it is, dude. That's just that's just how it is. You don't you, you don't you don't have you don't have a you don't have a disagreement 
with a grown ass man and then and then talk about his chick bro like you just you, you don't do that unless unless you want to fight you know But I forgot I forgot the point I was making about about being corny. Well, the whole thing, yeah, the I, I, I mean the whole thing about the I mean just the whole thing about dude being corny is like, bro, because you're a cornball, you don't have the nuts to come out to your fans and say, listen, this is what I did. Like, is like, as far as a blackface shit, like you got to say something about that. You got to say something about that. Right. You got to say something about that. You can't, you can't just say, you can't, you can't just say, I'm not going to respond to this, you know? Cause what you're talking about what you're talking about is a is a tactic that was used to help i mean back b b back in those days when blackface was being utilized the media was like it was it, it was like like you think the like the media brainwashing and stuff like this is powerful now imagine when you couldn't fact check nothing and everybody just believed what they saw on TV and and, and on a and on a um on uh you know on 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 advertisements and stuff like that that's when that's when propaganda was at its height so you're talking about you're you, you know you're coming out with these monkey caricatures and shit like that and you're taking you know you're you're minimalizing and and, and, and marginalizing a whole a whole race of people who you could not have built this country without you know what i mean like like you're talking about the fucking backbone of the economy you couldn't have built this country you couldn't have built this country without black people you know what i mean like you could not have done it so you're so you're gonna take them portray them as 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 subhuman okay as sub fucking human all right and you're gonna portray them as sub fucking human then you're gonna choose to make a fucking artistic point about this in some way to compare it to whatever struggle you think you're going through no bro you got to man up you got to be a man you got to do one manly thing in your life and you got to come to the people and say listen bro this is what i did this is why i did it and i understand that it is wrong <laughs> that's you know and and you know what i want to i want to tell everybody out there that this shit ain't cool you know and then it's fine And then it's fine, bro. But you're gonna fucking you're gonna come out you're gonna come out and do you gonna like 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 that's like that's like that's my problem is like if it was I feel like I feel like if you're a real man you know what I mean like if you're a real man I don't know like like you know like I, I like like I don't know how y'all grew up but if you're a real man and you and you make a mistake like that you know what I mean like and 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 something and something like this comes out. You know you and, and 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 you got your phone in your hand and you could talk to the world like you get you you get on your IG live right away you get on your Facebook live right away you know what I mean like because there's so much more to it like I, I like like y'all that don't know y'all that don't know I'm 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 not gonna do it on this stream but just go and just go and Google minstrel show and go and Google blackface and, and, and just, and just Google image the shit. Don't even read the words. Don't even read the words and look at, and, and, and look at the products that they used to sell behind that shit. You know what I mean? Just, uh, just, just look at the products they used to sell with it or the little, or the little carnival events they had, you know, for, uh, for Duncan babies and shit like that, dude. Like it's not okay. What the clothing said is that it's it's more than just hey, man. Yeah, I'm just dog. You, but you know what, Bega? Like nobody's it, 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 nobody's gonna get it, dude. Like it, the, and and that's the thing. That's what that that that's why like like that's why I'm in my bag about it, bro. Because it's it's I seen I seen the reactions from everybody today. Like I wanted to see if somebody was gonna was gonna make it a thing, and then it just all turned to why did push a say that shit about about 40 you know which when i heard the song i was like yo why did push say that shit about 40 <laughs> you know 
That shit, that, that, that shit was uncomfortable. But, I mean, when I first when I first seen that picture, I didn't even know it was Drake. I even I I I I I did not even, yeah exactly. Imagine if Kanye had a blackface picture, all right? Imagine if Kanye had a picture in blackface. How would you feel about it? Yo, I heard his uh. <laughs> Yeah, I did the same. Yeah, Nate, I did the same thing. I was like, "What is it?" Because I didn't see none of this last night. I woke up. I woke up to this shit, you know. And then I was like, "I was like, what is this?" And then it was. It, it wasn't until I went to Twitter and I seen everybody freaking out. I was like, "Holy shit!" But I even, bro, I watched. I I I, I watched. Um, I'm telling you, I watched uh, I watched Everyday Struggle. I watched all the, you know, oh, oh, Mr. Bones, I just got your email. Thank you, bro, bro. I can't wait to dig into them. Um, like, I watched, I, I watched everybody because I wanted somebody, you know, I wanted somebody to say, and, and, and of course, like, like, of course, like, Rosenberg is all like, is all like trying to justify it through art, you know, but it, I, I was just, I was waiting for somebody to go in, dude. And it's like, it's like nobody, like nobody wants it with the six god, bro. Like they're scared that he's gonna get in his feelings, and uh, you know, and pull their shit. I don't know. Did they? I'm about to Google that. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't putting that shit up on my stream, bro. But I'm, I'm, I'm about to look at that on my phone. That uh. That I, I I don't know if that's true or if that's like the you know the the Lauren Hill I don't I don't want white people to buy my CD rumor. Yeah, no, it's fake news. It's fake news. The only thing is like some controversy about about her uh, her makeup ads where she looks she looks like she looks like she darked up. Do I think Loop Cloud is as good as Splice? Um, they're they're different beasts, bro. I think that Loop Cloud is is better than Splice for um for real instruments all day and i also think that just i I, i'm gonna use loop cloud more than splice because loop cloud has the has the damn um has the plugin you know what i mean no i didn't no i'm telling you that the uh i don't i don't know i don't see it yeah i mean if you the the cool thing hold up The cool thing about about uh about uh Loop Cloud is you don't have to you don't have to be subscribed to it. You know, you could just buy your credits and let them sit there and cuz I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but if you if you ever let your payments lapse on uh on Splice, you lose all the credits you had. I had like, bro, I had like I had like 4,000 credits and I was like, I ain't I'm not downloading anything. I'm going to just let these credits sit uh um yeah, and I I didn't re up my account and they was like, oh, "Okay, nah, bro." What should I call this beat? Okay, that's easy. Rename. Oh, let me let me get this out of here before I destroy myself. Rename. But yeah, bro, I was really, I was really disappointed in the whole mainstream hip hop uh, journalism cabal today for not, uh, for not pointing that out. I should do a tally on how many times I say, bro. 
You throwing shade, bro? <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, I can't. I can't do nothing about my dogs, man. Bro, they are very cute. They are small dogs. I have a Chihuahua and a uh, and a Yorkie Shih Tzu mix. Can you use different sample one channels on the step sequencer? Yeah, yeah. You just have to change it to to note mode. Instead of instead of using just the pattern mode, if you switch it if you switch it to notes and then you map your samples to different uh, to different um, steps on the or, or to different uh, notes on the keyboard, then you can then you can use it like that. That's how I would do it. Uh, where's this Where's this going? I don't know, KO. <laughs> you ain't you ain't doing nothing wrong, bro. You ain't doing you ain't doing nothing wrong, bro. That I I, I can't do it. I can't do it either. Yeah, no, the, the the it is a bit limiting. They need to they need to work on that, dude. They need to work on that. But they won't know if you don't tell them. So this is what you gotta do, Lord Gabriel. Is you gotta go to answers.presonus.com. All right, because every because everybody in this stream will support you if there's something that you want to see, right? You go and put in answers answers.presonus.com and then comment and then comment in the in one of my videos in one of my new videos with the link and say, hey, everybody, I need you to go give this vote and the community will go and vote this shit up because now we know that Presonus is listening to the MIDI producers and this is the Studio One Four is our daw. They made it for us, so if we continue to be vocal. I mean, dude, when I made that when I made that video about the problem with pattern editor, Presonus hit me up in three hours, bro. They were on it in three hours. Like, yo, what's going on? What don't you like about it? What do you want? In or out? Come on. Check if I can use pattern mode machine. I'm not doing that. I know that you can. Mm, A1 from day one. I appreciate it, man. I definitely appreciate that, KO. <laughs> All right, sis. <laughs> you can all you you can use you can use pattern editor with anything all you got to do is create a pattern yeah bro they're ridiculous you can you absolutely can use pattern editor with anything anything that you can it, it all you have to do is create a pattern you can use you can use pattern editor sir with omnisphere bro Yo, y'all would not like Miami if the bros if the bros get on your nerves, dude, because that is like that is the word. What are we in? Summer 18? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Nah, no problem, bro. We gotta we gotta do this together. You know what I mean? Pattern seems like it would be better for battery than machine. I think you're right. Well, no, actually, hold on. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it because, okay. Well, no, because then I'd have to be, 
Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Even for what? I made a beat called Janky Leg. Don't remember doing that. What happens if Drake does not respond? Do all of his fans go back to whatever he didn't need so he's the best? Nah, they ain't going to demand it. They're not going to demand it because Drake's fans are... are um, Drake's fans are... Drake's, Drake's fans are sensitive. So... When Pusha talked about forty, it made him it made him look like a bully, bro. I seen I seen a comment. Somebody was like, "Yo, uh, the reason why uh, Pusha mentioned forty is because he doesn't know how to write a good diss." I'm like, "Bro, does this person not know that diss is short for disrespectful?" Yeah. You got to do this, bro. Um, when you're when you're drawing an eight oh eight, you got to have this motif in there somewhere. If you look on the piano roll, so you got you got your you, you got your time like at one forty five. You got to have you got to have this in here. This is that boom, 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 and then from there you you can you can you can do whatever you want to do, or you could start or you could start off slow and then have the and then have the boom, boom, boom on the second bar, but this this has got to be in there somewhere, and that'll that'll get you going in your basic trap zone, and then you know as as you go through as a creative you'll be like man this is crazy I'm putting the same drum pattern into every beat but you just gotta kind of break past that because that's what trap is it's the same boom 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 in every beat pretty much oh man nah 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 you crazy hip hop has always been accessible Yo, what up, Mike? We was just uh, we was just talking about Drakes and and then Pusha T's and why nobody was upset that that uh that Drake showed up in in blackface like that like that shit's not a big deal. Yo, Lilac writes my favorite comments, bro. <laughs> she always makes me fucking crack up. <laughs> you kill me. I don't know, bro. Like I like I came from 
I came from like a tough guy era. So like when Drake first came out, I was like, ooh, this is soft. But uh, th- but then Take Care came out, and that like that music was just so undeniable. Like like you couldn't you couldn't as a creative person like say that say that, that like that was a bad project. And then I, I and then like after that, I never liked the whole project that he did, except for um except for uh um if you're reading this because be, be, I, and if you're reading this is a is a very important album if you're reading this is another one of those moments that changed the way that rap sounded you know what i mean it 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 changed like like if, if you're reading this changed the way that if you're reading this had people who would have never made trap beats start making trap beats like if you're reading this was was a was a super important uh, project but i mean other than that i like you know i like drake a song here a song there (laughs) 808s and heartbreaks nah bro it's not people uh <laughs> people uh, cuz cuz Kanye got that from somewhere we all know that uh, I, bro Kanye Ka- Kanye Kanye's a god bro but he is not a uh, that's not where that, that's not where that shit came from bro that shit came from Andre 3000 the uh and the person who does it first the person who do, the person who really does it first they never ever ever get the credit that they deserve like it's like it's the invoke thing to say that oh yeah um you know the, the 808 was the one that doesn't but it wasn't it was the love below it, it was the fucking love below the uh eight eight oh eights is a more and it's crazy to say this because because the album went platinum or, or went diamond but 808s is a more like commercially digestible version of uh of the love below but Andre 3000 was the first rapper to to put those to put those effects on his voice and start singing full time and like and like really go, you know, he you know, like like Andre Andre produced the love below on his own, you know, he's playing guitar on that thing. He's playing bass on it. You know, you got 808s all over it. Um the whole concept, the whole concept of the album the whole the whole concept of that album is the concept of 808s like it's all it's all about heartbreak but instead of being written uh, instead of a whole bunch in minor key and 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 sounding more minimal and flipping samples it's more original compositions in major key so it's got it's got a brighter sound but if you listen to if you listen to hey ya hey ya is a dark ass song bro hey ya is a uh, is, is, is no 808 mafia didn't change the style of the 808 hell no bro no. Yo, I'm sick of you. Get out. You tripping. Go. I mean, bro, Andre 3000, he is a, he's he's up there, bro. Like the only the only knock against against Andre that people can say and I think it's stupid is um you know he's never had a classic album on his own which if you think about if you think about what uh if you think about what the love below actually is he has he has on his own and then everything that outcast did up up until up until stankonia was an undeniable classic Black Thought is yeah, Black Thought is like like you but but I mean that but that's the thing. You can't like I think that uh, you, you you Black Thought is like god. Black Thought is Black Thought is something else, dude. He just he he's he, he's a rap machine. You know what I mean? Like the, the the thing about Black Thought the and and the advantage that Black Thought had in being with the Roots is because they tore so much he never he never got the luxury of becoming out of shape or fucking getting getting a smoker's lung or anything like that because the the reason why he could do those freestyles and everything is because his breath control is so amazing and uh and and he raps so often like like freestyling freestyling is 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 a muscle 
You know what I mean? Like if you if you do it all the time, then you're always going to be great at it. So if you if you hang out with a band and the band is prone to jamming, which is just freestyling with instruments, then you're going to be there freestyling too all the time. And then you've got like this maximum creative space where you can always, you know, so so that's that, that's why that's why he's able to do that. It's a uh, it's a function it's a function of of what he is surrounding himself with he is he's able to put in put in the practice to be able to create at that level but yeah black thought is i i think black thought is definitely somebody who is who is under who is under mentioned when it comes to great mcs ryan Les ryan leslie ryan leslie is real dope bro i don't know where the hell he is he can come out with some music Soldier Boy ain't ruined rap. Soldier Boy was just a boy, bro. I mean, it all depends on what your on on what your perspective of you know quote unquote mattering for the culture is. You know what I mean? Like, I I I mean I I think that Wyclef is is like. I, I think the Wycliffe is up there with with Dr. Dre, and Timberland. You know, what I mean, I think Wycliffe is the most slept on producer, like criminally slept on. Okay, like Wycliffe, Wycliffe is Wycliffe is dope, 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 dope. But uh, I don't know. I would look forward to it. But I don't. I don't think that it would be the same as. As you know, like when they when they made when they made the score, they were in their twenties. You know these these uh, uh you know they they're in their forties now. They have a completely different perspective on life, and then plus plus you have like you have the sexual tension that was going on between Clef and Lauren. You know they were in the relationship and that whole thing. Like that that that's the the breakup of that relationship is what uh, sparked um the mis the miseducation of Lauren Hill. You know what I mean? Like that like all that shit is is uh is um like what would they like 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 i just don't know what they would come together and talk about now i remember back in 2005 um they had a uh, the year that kryptonite and uh and um what album was that the ti had the hey, you on riding through atlanta in the phantom with the double dope Come and ride with a G. Come and ride with a G. All through the ATL. Come and ride. King. It was King. Yeah, when like that year the King came out, I had I, I I was working on the road. I had serious I had serious um in my in, in my work truck and uh, I remember the Fugees came out. The Fugees came out with a record it, and it was dope. It was uh, Wyclef and Pra and and um and Lauren were rapping. And then, and then, like the beat dropped, and then Proz came on, and he was all like, "Oh, what? Y'all thought I wasn't coming?" And then he he ripped it, but you know, it was crazy. Nah, Ti ain't trash. Ti is dope. Ti is a dope MC. Yeah, no, T.I. is dope. He ain't he ain't lose nothing.
Yeah, it automatically shows up. Yeah, I like the, I like those sample packs. I'm using the PreSonus Mobile 192. Nah, I ain't listening to the new Outlaw songs. I didn't even really like the old Outlaw songs, to be honest. Yo, this is the only thing that kind of I wish Serato Sample did. Like, I wish I could just drag it into Serato Sample from the damn uh, window. 530, I think it, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, they, they're a young um, plugin, so they got time, right? I don't know cuz that's uh <laughs> that's what the, that's what they did, bro. Yeah. But I mean, you get around it, bro. You just work with smaller samples sizes. 
You know, like instead of instead of chopping the whole damn song, you just chop like eight, ten, but you know, eight, sixteen bars, something like that. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't work in Studio One? Look, look, look at look, look at Gasoline Greg. You the you you the god you, you the Ableton god now. Bro, Gasoline Greg don't use my drum rack, dude. Gasoline Greg is a walking drum rack. Gasoline Greg, Gasoline Greg was to, was was showing me racks. I was like, "Yo, Greg, let me get that rack, bro." He's like, "Nah, bro." Ooh, what's this one? You ain't deny it, Greg. I like this snare too, bruh. Yo, bruh. <laughs> Yo, Studio One is pissing me off with this shit, man. How you not gonna play the first note? Uh, oh, never mind. I forgot. I forgot. Mobby. He wants to send me a loop so I can freak it. Send it. Bro, you know what's crazy? Like, like, like when I do my like when I do a chop like that, <laughs> I'm just like, I don't even really like it. And then when I put the drums on, I'm like, oh, yeah, it doesn't sound that bad. Cause I was getting ready to throw that away.
yo, I ain't, I, I ain't even like half as good enough to be doing any type of challenge with sampling. I'll tell you that right now, bro. I know, I, I, I know where my place is. Y'all want to do a trap melody challenge? We'll run that. Yeah, before it had VSTs, I tried Reason. Yeah, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a, a big, big crit uh, currency type beat producer. <laughs> <laughs> What's poppin', bro? How you doing, man? Like, yo, bro, like, I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. Why? Well, I know exactly what happened to me. But it's so it's so crazy that like <laughs> that like that like i could do this now because i didn't used to know how to do this bro and now all of a sudden like i could just take i could just take like any song and chop it it's crazy nah yeah you definitely shouldn't worry Go go check out DJ Payne one and and go back on his like Twitter and 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 just see what he says about it. That man has that man has real real placements with sampling, so he knows what he knows what he's talking about. I've never placed a sample beat. I don't think I'm ever gonna have a business relationship with Presonus, bro. I don't think that I'm the type of person that fits their uh, their their mold as far as who they want to roll out um, using the product with. is going F to B. The sampling shit is tricky, bro, because you can't just like you, you can find the key of the track, but you can't just go throwing uh throwing eight oh eights at the root note. You know what I mean? Like you gotta uh you gotta pay attention with that shit. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, they definitely feeling the pressure, bro. Like 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 real like real talk, bro. Buddy hit me up. He was like, "Yo, can you uh, can you like uh, can you tell your people to cool it in the uh, in the in the uh, on the answers page?" And I was like, I was like, bro, that's <laughs> I can't control what the people post, man. They want what they want, dude. Like. We could have we could have talked about this before y'all rolled this out, but uh, you know we didn't. So here we are, here we are at a crossroads. Whoa, brother! Yeah, no, nah, bro. Like I I, I said earlier, like after I made that that video about the uh, about the patterns, I uh. 
they they hit me up like they hit me up like on like like on some like on like some really uh on like some really positive type of vibes bro and it was like they was like yo do you want to beta test this thing and i was like yeah i ain't heard back from him yet that's why I, that's why i haven't put out a bunch of videos about about the other stuff uh about the other stuff that i'm really not feeling on uh in in presonus but uh but um you know i kind of i kind of cooled it down because i i had a i had a i had a the problem with series on deck ski ready to go bro let me see this like that thing was that that thing was ready to go Yeah, see the growly 808 does not work for uh for this for this vibey. Yeah, he was. See what old Gregorian has for me. What are we doing now? But that's what but that's what I'm telling you guys about about getting on that uh, answers.presonus.com like if like if just like if just the 40 people who was in this stream like if we all if we were reliable enough that's enough votes to get them to change anything we want just the 40 of us if we all went in and we said we want this and and the 40 of us upvoted it within a day it would be done like that shit would get done and if they didn't know you know and you put like and you put like cmp or Craftmaster or whatever them fools would hit me up and they'd be like yo what are these people talking about right now because i'm telling you as soon as i made that as soon as i made that the problem video yo buddy hit me up he's like yo you know because the the thing is is they have they have you seen him like if you watch their live stream he uh he had he had um buddy was um they have one one hip-hop guy okay and it was it was dude who was showing off pattern mode all right like the, he was and so he was showing off pattern mode and and uh um you know doing what he does and i was telling him exactly about the feature that so many of you guys did not understand what i was trying to do uh, <laughs> but i love you he uh he i was explaining to him the feature that that we wanted or that i wanted and as soon as as soon as i described it he's like oh like how machine works you want to be able to spread it across the keys and i was like yeah bro and he's telling me he's like yeah we uh i i tried to petition for that for the beta and so did and and so did marcus hushkins um the guy who was doing the chord track tutorials and we were the only two people who thought about it so they were like just uh you know just uh just use um you know just do it another way and it was crazy um you know because i talked to someone else there uh, who i'm not gonna put out in a you know in a live stream uh but um you know i talked to somebody else there and they were the whole time they was like you know they was like they, they was like they was like the boys in the comments like yo you know you could press control this and send it to the piano roll and and then you know you could automate the pitch and da, 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 you know and then uh um i know that they had worked in the doll like me i was like yo how do you run your drums right now do you use impact you're like nah i use sample one i'm like i'm like why do you use sample one because i could pitch it across the keyboard i'm like all right then what the fuck are you telling me about right now dude you know and it just and it just all it just all came down to like yo bro like 
Like, come on, like, take it easy on us. Um, and it's not because, and it's and 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 the reason why they were asking wasn't because wasn't because they don't care and they don't plan to fix it. Um, for some reason, I don't I don't understand why, but for some reason, the output of Studio One Four was rushed. Like this is, like this this like this is this is a rush job. I don't know I don't know why it was rushed. I don't understand it. No one has told me that, but the feeling that I get when I talk to them, it's all like yeah yeah yeah. We know we know there's problems. We know we just uh you know we just didn't fix them yet. Greg, this is original. Tell me a gasoline Greg original from a mile away. of uh sweetie you were asking me about vocal synth i haven't i haven't checked it out i saw i saw the day that it the day that it came out everybody who makes youtube videos had a youtube video about it so i didn't make a youtube video about it because i don't like making videos about or like trying to go get stuff that everybody else is covering oh this is gonna be gas Gotta find a good bump bump. Not for long, Greg. Mm. That's actually that actually goes. Oh, like uh something like the something sweetie like the like the lean on um sample ooh yo greg make me like <laughs> make me like 30 of these boy using fucking weird scales like Lydian though. Nah, I'm joking.
Oh, that sounds like church. Yeah, MG's been doing some some great Studio One videos lately. We're bouncing, bounce. Oh, yeah. Pistons to meet with Juwan Howard. You need to you stay away from my coaches. First, you want to take David Fisdale. Now we want to take Juwan Howard. Spolster ain't gonna have no coaches to tell him that he's only got two timeouts left in the game. God, I hope so. I've I've wanted him gone for so long, bro. Like like dog, the thing about it was like the Miami fan base, they were so like thirsty to to get back to being great that they just like seen any talent and they were like, "Yo, we're going to get behind this dude." But the Miami Heat have a have a very specific type of player that they put into their culture. It's a very specific type of player. It's a Miami Heat player. It's a Pat Riley type player and the <laughs> White side ain't him, bro. White side ain't him. Nah, I mean, I, I mean, Detroit. Listen, Detroit is a storied franchise. Love Detroit, bro. I've always liked Detroit. I'm, I, I actually want to go see a game in Detroit. I wanna, I wanna go when they're not playing the Heat. I wanna hear the, um, the work whistle. I wanna hear them chant Detroit basketball. I wanna be a part of that environment. I wanna go out to Auburn Hills, but, bro. Uh, dog, it's, but it's only disappointing if you didn't know what to expect. Like, how is somebody with how is somebody with that skill set, okay, and that size and that much athleticism, not in the NBA? I'll tell you why he's not in the NBA because he's a fucking head case, bro. You know what I mean? Goddamn head case. mess this up yo Greg make me some loops dog what the hell this is fucking awesome yeah put some wobble on this thing
put some espacio on it as well. Let me put the clinks in. Let me put the clinks in. I got the clinks, bro. Best is subjective, bro. It all depends on what you're going after. Like, <clears throat> I like my stuff to sound loud but transparent, you know? I think this is a very good transparent limiter. It's called FXG. I'm sorry, FGX, my bad. And like the cool thing about it is like if this was it, uh, like, I, I would buy this limiter before I bought any other limiter because it comes with, it, it, it comes with a, it comes with a bus compressor on it, which I think is dope. Like that's amazing. It has a good meter. You can, you could set the difference between, uh, between how it handles transients and stuff like that. That's what, that's why I like it. Uh, I don't like IK Media's stuff as far as as far as limiting. I had their I had like their their uh, their T Rex shit, bro, and I was not a fan. Nah, yeah, I've heard the the K clip. Um, <laughs> the K clip is you showed me K clip, Greg. You should you, that last time we hung out, you showed me the K clip. That shit is serious, bro. I'm just not I'm just not ready to spend seventy dollars on a on a plug in yet. Yeah, Mike, I'm trying to I'm trying to make it work for me. You know, I had to get I had to get the uh, four because it came out, you know, and 
it's a part of my business. Uh, but to be honest, I I, I wish I would have kept working in three because three was working fine. This one's a little glitchy. I don't think this was ready for the rollout. I wonder if that's going to bounce with the insert effect on it. It did not. Got to hit mix down for that. One thirty for for F, for FGX. That's nothing, bro. That's nothing. It's bro. You'll have that plug in forever, like or not forever for as long as you know. But for as long as you're doing the shit. What the hell just happened? How did how did that even happen? I mean, you'd be making you'd be making a wise choice, bro. Especially like, especially like Mike, like you doing like you doing business, bro. Like, you can't you, you can't afford to be like to be like tripped up on on this, you know. That's why, I, like that, like that's that that's why I'm keeping it like one hundo, bro. Like. There's all of the FX from the buses. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like I the the stuff that the stuff that FL put in. Uh, I, I, it's they made it like they they put a lot of pro doll features into it. You know, like it's not it's not a lot of candy. You know, like that that the automatic latency cop is or um, plug in um, latency late latency compensation that's major
If all you do is use grow speed for half time, uh, um, I got you, bro. I I kind of like I kind of like wake up every day and try to make the most amazing beat for Kevin Gates that I could possibly make, <clears throat> and I've been doing that every day since i've heard the luca brasi album that's that's like my default mike i will send you i will send you like a pack bro Yeah, it's, it's not a joke though. Like I fucking that's like a that's like a bucket list, bro. That's not the vibes. Where is he, Mike? Where is he recording? Say less, say less, say fucking less, dog. I got you. I got you all day. Bro, I don't, I didn't want to put that all extra. We already established I don't want that sound. Tag beat is in session. It says 83 BPM, but I recorded it at 120 BPM, so you'll probably have to leave it. Put that vibed out, low frequency, Drake 40 vibe on it. Time to fuck with these chicks. I'll send the bread in the next day or two. Awesome. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> A C A F A C
bit. <laughs> Alright, bro. What time is it? I'm getting hungry. Yo, <clears throat> yo, I'ma hop off. Greg, hit me hit, hit me up later later on this week, bro. I'ma see y'all later, man. Yo, keep it simple. Don't be basic. Thank you for riding with me on the stream. And again, answers.presonas.com. Let them know once you guys make a request. Put just spam it in all my videos, man. Alright? Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we're gonna see you on the next.